An automated external defibrillator, or AED, is a portable device that can save lives. As overwork remains a problem in Taiwan that in the worst cases can be fatal, the proper use of an AED becomes all the more important. Some schools are now starting early with simple first aid training, but doctors say the skills should be practiced annually. Doctors also hope to remind the public that one is legally protected if a person they perform CPR on dies. So they hope more people will receive first aid training and apply it when the need arises. Whether in office buildings or public facilities, automated external defibrillator devices have become an increasingly common sight. AEDs can save lives, but too few people know how to use one. Hey, I'll touch you. Here at Taipei's Zhongzhen Senior High School, a phys ed teacher is leading his class through an exercise when a student suddenly collapses. It's a simulation designed by the school to teach the use of AEDs. The teacher approaches the fallen student to check his vital signs. Okay, the school's military instructor leaps into action and brings over the AED. In 2012, the emergency medical service law was amended to require AEDs at airports, high-speed rail stations and other public facilities, as well as high schools and higher education institutions. Prior to the amendment, Taiwan was posting about 20,000 cardiac arrest cases each year in which the patient would arrive at the hospital without a heartbeat. According to research done in Japan, the installation of AEDs in public places raises the survival rate of cardiac arrest patients to 38 percent. The number one cause of sudden cardiac death is heart disease, though strokes are also a cause. Myocardial infraction is a major factor in sudden death. That's because when there is a blockage in the arteries, the heart muscle becomes unstable. That leads to cardiac arrhythmia. If this cardiac arrhythmia is not treated immediately, blood flow to the brain will become insufficient. That leads to death very quickly. When someone is in cardiac arrest, Recognizing it and reacting correctly can mean the difference between life and death. AEDs are a type of defibrillator, and they must be used in conjunction with CPR. AEDs deliver an electric shock to stop an irregular heartbeat and restore a normal rhythm. It is relatively simple to use. Most people can figure it out on their first try. We do CPR. we Doing CPR has a major benefit. Throughout the process, you get blood flowing to the brain. Xu Jiahong, an emergency room doctor at Taipei Medical University's Shuanghe Hospital, is on a visit to Zhongzhen Senior High School. He's here to teach teachers and students how to perform CPR and use an AED. Dr. Xu tells the class that when you encounter someone who has collapsed, first check if they are conscious, then dial 119 and begin CPR and AED procedures. Under Dr. Xu's guidance, the students begin working on the dummy's chest. They do sets of 30 compressions while powering up the AED. The AED gives spoken instructions, explaining where to place the electrodes to the patient's chest. The AED automatically reads the patient's heart rate and then determines whether an electrical shock is needed. For every minute that CPR is delayed, the mortality rate increases by 7 to 10 percent. According to current statistics, it's about 5 to 10 minutes from the moment an emergency is reported to the arrival of an ambulance. In such a circumstance, by the time medics arrive, it's already too late to revive the patient. Even if they could, the patient would already be brain dead, so would be in a vegetative state. This is why it is so important for the people who find the patient to know CPR. For years, Dr. Xu has given talks and classes on simple first aid skills. His goal is to teach others how to seize the opportunity to save a life. 
But over the years, he's found that even though most people are well-intentioned, they are slow to react when emergencies arise. Many people are reluctant to try saving someone. In a large number of cases, it's because they are unfamiliar with the law. In reality, there is a clause in the emergency medical service law that absolves one from responsibility. If you harm someone in the process of providing emergency assistance to them, in that situation, because it's an emergency, you are not responsible. Dr. Xu says that CPR must be practiced so that it is not forgotten. Similarly, AEDs must be regularly maintained. In principle, these skills should be practiced every year so that they become routine, so that when you encounter a situation, you won't be afraid to act. Although AEDs can now be found at many places, they are not mandatory in gated residential communities and private companies.